What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of this show. Today, we got something really cool to unbox. It is a really awesome gift, a really awesome early birthday present from my buddy Andy. Uh, and it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. Let's check it out. Look at this box. It is the Diablo 4 Collector's Edition. Let's unbox this. Oh, you'll see it, Remus. We won't need this box. Oh, it's so heavy. It's so heavy. That's heat. This is a massive collector's edition, dude. It's ridiculous. Okay, let's get this plastic off of it. So, I definitely wasn't going to buy this for myself. A, I don't have the money for it. Oh, that just smells so beautiful and collectors-y. Uh, I wasn't going to buy this for myself because A, I didn't have the money for it. Um, and then B, like it was just really weird because it didn't, it doesn't actually come with the game. It's just a box of collectible items, which I thought was goofy. Uh, but my buddy Andy bought it for me. So I'm very, very grateful to have this because I do have the collector's editions of Diablo 3 and uh, the expansion for that. You should open that and show them what's inside. So I'm pretty excited for it. Obviously, Blaine, that's what an unboxing <laughs> yes, is. Me too. Yes, thank you. Um, it looks like this. This probably, well, it's glued on there pretty good. So it's not probably not made to come off. All right, let's open this guy up. <laughs> what did. I thought that was a tab to pull it open. There we go. Oh, look at this. It's so beautiful. Okay, so we got the Churchill light on this side, and then I... Is that the... Is that the, like, Lilith symbol on that side? Okay, so the first thing, we got this really cool piece of artwork with some demons on it. Some demons. The demons. Yeah, that's, that's like a hellscape. Awesome little hellscape area. The next one, we got uh, some really cool artwork of um, Inarius and then Lilith. Mother and father of sanctuary. Uh, the back is just blank. That's in these plastic things. I probably won't take them out of those plastic things. Um, honestly, most of this... Oh, this is a... This wasn't a... This is a blood petal. That's what this is. I didn't realize they, they were freaking blood petals. There's a few of them. Oh my god, that's so cool. Most of this stuff will probably just get put back in the box instead of hanging on the wall or anything to keep it safe. Because my children are monsters. Uh, let's see, what's... Holy crap, that's a thick book. Now you guys can see exactly what I'm seeing. It's a lot better. Oh my god, these blood petals are so cool. Uh, so they're they're just basically like uh, any synthetic flower. Fake flowers you would get, that's exactly what they feel like. But man, that's cool. Okay, so this is where that book was at. Let's take a look at that book real quick. Art of Diablo 4. Oh, it's it's kind of a holographic. I can't tell if you guys can see that on camera, but it's got a neat holographic uh, image of Lilith on there. Hi, Daddy, love you. And it looks like a Herodric seal, it looks like, on the back. Oh, it's got that new book smell, too. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. We'll just skim through this real quick. Are you... Got weapons, one of the Church of Light worshippers. Some of the mounts. It's a cool art, some of the classes. A little bookmark? Yeah, it's got a little bookmark. 
fabric thing in there. All the artwork of the classes. That's a cool image. All right, yeah. So that's kind of a just a quick glance at the art book. Nothing on the spine, just a black, black thing there. Okay, so this is where the book was, and then this, this piece lifts out. I love, I love the smell of like new cardboard and stuff. It just, I, I know it's really weird, but it's such a cool sensory thing for me that like that is also part of a joy of this unboxing. That is really cool. What? Okay. I don't have to accidentally rip anything. Oh. Okay. What? Okay. What's what's this? Oh. Okay. It's a pin. Oh my God. That's a cool pin. I might keep this pin out and put it on my pin board. But you got that cool Herodric symbol and then the or the Herodric uh, seal around the thing there, and then the Herodric emblem. That is a pin. I noticed, I, uh, because Andy also gave me one of those Diablo pins. I'm, I can't remember if I posted on my Instagram or not, but um, these little pin backers almost look like Diablo emblems of some kind, but I can't 100% tell. That's a cool pin, though. That might end. So we'll put that back in there. Let's set that to the side. So uh, that's, yeah, we'll have to move these things. All right, what do we have here? Oh, it's a, is this a map of sanctuary? So I was looking at it wrong. It's not sideways like a, a regular map. It is uh, a vertical one here. Yeah, there's images of Chaldeum and some of the other places in game. This is a really cool map. You can kind of see that it's actually beveled, or not beveled, but it's, um, you know, it's not completely straight, so it kind of looks like it's a real map. And the cloth fabric on it is really cool. Like, it's really, really high-quality fabric. Yeah, that's really neat. It feels really cool to have, like, just hold it in your hands. Closer look at it. There's Kedbardu, Kielvashad, uh, what's the top city? Korgar? That's a really neat map. All right, let's pull that guy back up nice and neat. Oh, this is, is this a mouse pad? Yeah, mouse pad. So we got the mouse pad. Uh, yeah, I'm pulling that right. I can't tell what emblem that one is. Probably something demon. We don't want it, no demons. Uh, the mouse pad's really cool though. I probably won't end up using this mouse pad because I ended up using my other one from the Diablo 3 Collector's Edition, and it got damaged. Put the book back in there, and then let's open up this side. So we got those, those blood petals are so cool. What a cool touch. Okay, so now this, this is a whole new box. Okay, so we got a a cool embossed image of Lilith. I guess that's what was on that mouse pad was the Lilith was a Lilith emblem there. Uh, and then you got the angel Inarius on the back, also similar, like gold latisse or uh, relief. That's really neat. All right, I gotta open this guy up. Oh, you have the Lilith symbol on the side there and then another Church of Light symbol on this side. Very cool. All right, got that cut carefully open. Let's see, what do we have in here? What's this? Oh, it's literally just instructions for what's in here. Oh, so these are the these are the candles that you get. So again, same same kind of thing. You have your Church of Light, and then. Uh, 
the followers of Lilith symbol there. It's a neat little fabric. Oh, this, whoa, this is, okay, first I thought there was going to be two of them. Uh, I don't know why I thought there were two. I thought there were just two matching red candles. I didn't know this was battery operated. I thought they were going to be real candles. Okay, so I got the batteries. We got some silica gel. It's what you eat when you want to get out of the matrix. This is a pretty cool candle. Oh, it's got that. Okay. That's so neat. I like that they've kept like this kind of the same theme with uh, kind of taking sides between, you know, that Lilith and Inarius. Uh, so we got a really cool, it's not metal, it's plastic. It's the tips of the horns bend a little bit so it's not like super firm plastic. Uh, we got Lilith on one side of the candle. Uh, Anarius on the other side of the candle. Really cool sculpt. Got some cool little demon skulls and stuff. Kind of mixed in there. And then the candle itself just looks like a red wax candle. Uh, we're going to have to see this lit up. I'm going to need a screwdriver. Okay, so I noticed uh, when I was putting the batteries in, it's, I don't know if you can see it clearly in this dark room that I'm in, but it does have the blizzard emblem on the, the bottom there. It's got some nice little foot pads, so it sits quietly. Uh, what's cool is, so as soon as I put the batteries in, the candle was already on. And I was like, oh, is there no, there's no off switch? That's like kind of stupid. Uh, and then I did my smart thing and read the manual. Right here is the on and off switch. That is really cool how it's, because I was expecting just some like little goofy switch like on the bottom, right? Like you would see on a candle of this type, but they built it into Inarius's armor. That is really fucking cool. That is probably the coolest thing about this candle. I like the flame. The flame looks really cool. It looks like a real, a real little flame. Make it a little darker in here to see if you can see it. But yeah, that, I, man, the on-off switch is like my favorite thing, I think, about this candle. It's so cool how they've worked it into the artwork on the candle. It's a beautiful piece, beautiful collector's edition. Uh, again, shout out to my buddy Andy for getting me this really cool collector's edition. I really appreciate it. The gift it is just awesome. I guess it's time to put it back in the box. All right, that fits back in there pretty. So we'll put it back in the box here. This time we'll have Anarius facing up instead of Lilith. We don't like Lilith. Actually, depending on how things go, we don't know. So we'll drop that right in there. Blood petals. I think it was like that when we opened it up. Take one last look at Anarius and Lilith. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe this was like this. Let's look at those two. Another last look at this cool hellscape. What creatures do we see in this? That I wanted. To, I wanted to say that it looks like the butcher, but I think that's just one of those. Uh, I forget the name of the character, but it's one of the random ones. That's like an overseer, demon type dude. And then some of the little lesser, little die in one hit type of crummy demons. All right. Man, that's cool. What a cool presentation in this box. Man, I love, I love that. That's, I think it's got, it's magnetic in here. It must be. And then this, this actually looks like the, uh, the doorway, the doorway to hell in the game. That's really neat. So you're actually opening up like the gates of hell essentially. And then, yeah, that's what you see because it's a hellscape. That's it. This is probably why I thought it was two candles, because there's two on the back there. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this unboxing video. Again, I want to give a shout out to my buddy Andy, who gave me this really awesome gift. I'm so thankful. It's so cool. Man, it's cool. Um, I'm, I'm very blessed to have some of the generous friends I have in my life. Um, I'm very thankful for that. There's a blood pedal that got left out. A blood pedal. I better put that one back. Anyway, again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Tell me what was your favorite part and what was your favorite part of the Collector's Edition? Are you having fun with Diablo 4 so far? Uh, gosh, it's been out for almost a month now. Season, the new, the first season is about to start soon, I think. Early July. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. I am occasionally streaming the game. So if you want to watch me stream the game and all that good stuff, please tune into my Twitch channel under the same name as YouTube. Again, let me know what your favorite part was, what's your favorite part of Diablo, all that good stuff. Let's have a great conversation about Diablo 4. I'm excited to see where the story goes, because I've beaten the campaign, and so I'm really excited to see where the next, like, the, the next story goes. So, that's, uh, it looks like it's going to be really good. Anyways, until next time, guys, again, thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, please be kind to each other, and I'll see you in the next video. Logical high five.